Good morning vlog pops. Don't look at me too closely. I ran out of allergy medicine and it's been like three days and it's getting bad. Look at my eyeballs. Do you see the inside of my eyeballs? It's bad, but I'm in the Dunkin Donuts drive through and then we're gonna go get my medicine. Oh my gosh, everything itches. But I'm gonna take you throughout my day today. I kind of have a lot of work stuff to do, but I also have a lot of reading to do because that is technically work stuff because I'm doing reading seven books in seven days on my main channel and I have to go home and edit and yeah, but let's get Dunkin Donuts first. Good morning, can I get a medium iced vanilla latte with cream and sugar. I'll have that drawn for you at the window. Thank you. Good job, everybody. My Duncan obsession comes back every summer. These cups just remind me of summer so much. Can't even see me, babe. Cheers. Let's go get my allergy medicine now. Got the medicine. That was literally comical. My nose was, I was sniffling the whole time. <laughs> I was like, please give me the Claritin D. I was doing allergy shots for a while, which was actually helping, but, but we moved and I live way too far away from the place, so it was also really time consuming. I had to go three times a week and then after you get the shots, you have to sit in the lobby for 30 minutes, which I could just read, but like the driving time and everything, like just starting every single morning like that, I was like, oh man. Got our Duncan. Let's go home and actually get our day started. I'm home now and reading Funny You Should Ask. It matches my outfit, which I am very proud of, um, but I'm still having an allergy attack. So I'm just gonna sit on this couch and finish this book because I need to for the main channel video and then I'm gonna edit this week's video. I'm traveling to LA next week, which is why I have like a bunch of work I need to get done this week. But reading does not feel like work, so I'm very much enjoying it. I am almost done with this book, but I'm gonna take a break. I have to do some edits on a video that's going up this week. I have my little SSD that I plug into my computer. I'm just gonna make these edits real quick. Should be nice and fun and easy. I love to edit. It's my favorite. Okie dokie. I got my edits done. I just uploaded it and submitted it to the brand and now I'm gonna do my makeup I'm actually gonna go to Barnes and Noble to hopefully get the new Christina Lauren book that just released But it released yesterday, so I don't know if it sold out yet I finished funny you should ask which is the second book for day two of my main channel video And you'll just have to watch that video to see what my review of it was But now I need to go get the next book for the next day And I also am wearing this to take a thumbnail for my main channel video. So while we're out and about, we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna hang out with Ryan and we'll see where the day takes us. But before the workday is over, I do wanna show you guys how I organize my life and my book tracking and all that stuff. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my notion. Ryan just took me to Barnes & Noble. I asked them if they had the new Christina Lauren release. She said that they only got one copy in, which is so random. Christina Lauren is a, they're co-authors, but they're huge and they only got one copy. So I'll just have to order that online. But I have a Barnes & Noble membership, so I get 10% off. That's why I always go into the store. But some Somehow I walked out with three books regardless, so mini book haul. Guys, this new cover of Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, so cute. At first I wasn't convinced, but if you really, really look at it, it's honestly really cute and I wanna reread this and it feels like I'm reading a different book if I have a different cover on it. I still think the original is like my favorite just because that's what I associate when I read it, but this is really cute and I'm gonna reread it, so that's why I'm justifying it. And then I got The Newcomer by Mary Kay Andrews. I've seen this as the perfect beach read, like that this author writes really good beachy reads and then it's also a mystery, which sounds fun. The cover is super cute, but then I just noticed in the car that it's cut at the top. I don't know what did that. I guess when they were opening the package, it might have done that. This is way thicker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's, in reality, it's like 400 pages. It's not too bad. It's so cute, and I kind of want a beach read, but also has mystery, so it's fast-paced. And then I got The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I don't know if this is adult or YA, but I've heard this is a romance with no spice in it, and it's a ballerina and a football player, friends to lovers, so I think this is gonna be really cute. And it's really short, so I think this will be my next one for my main channel video. That's my haul of books that I was not expecting to get, because I thought I was gonna get something wilder by Christina Lauren, but. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I'm about to go to the gym. Here's my gym fit for Bronco shirt. Everyone always asks about. It's very soft. From Abercrombie and Fitch Men's. I'll link it down below. Let's go work out, and then before I start the day, I'm gonna show you my Notion tour, how I track my books, how I track everything in life. Okay guys, I made my coffee. It's finally time to do a Notion tour because this video is sponsored by Notion, which is crazy. They are literally a dream sponsor because I use them every single day. It's how I've been tracking my books. It's how I've been tracking my workouts. It's how I've been journaling. It's how I've been tracking content. It literally organizes my entire life and I can't believe they're sponsoring this video. So, okay, so I watched a bunch of tutorials on how to customize your Notion. They even have free templates and stuff like that. But here's my dashboard. I put in these little widgets. So I have this, how many books I've read in 2022 
to widget where I can like do a counter. I have a quote here and then I have the Google Calendar widget where I can see my Google Calendar a little bit. And then I have this plain basic page that just has life, books, and YouTube. And then I have pages underneath those things. So for example, I'm gonna click on my workouts page and this is honestly kind of messy, but I, whenever I remember, I put in the date and what workout I did and I try to put how many pounds I lifted so that I can keep track of like if I'm increasing my weight. I haven't really been filling that out for May, as you can see, but I have been working out of May. And then going back to the dashboard, this is one of my favorite parts obviously is the books part. So my book tracker 2022, I love this. I put in a table and I put the book title, the author, the date that I read it, the rating, and then I have these little places to put like the cover of the book. I need to keep doing that, but it's so nice. And then more recently, I've been actually making like a page that I can open. So like if I wanna see my thoughts on the roughest draft, I can open it as a page and I can read some things that I said. And then I have my TBR. So I just have a little checklist thing. I've actually read every summer after so I can check that off and then it crosses it out. It's so satisfying to do that. And then I have YouTube. So I have my YouTube video ideas and then I have more pages in the pages where I can like, you can just keep clicking and clicking and making more pages and pages. I have the in my 20 series. Oh, this, I really like this page. I have my uh, thumbnails here and then I check off if I've finished the video. Book video ideas. Here are my May book video ideas. I can check mark it once I'm done. And then I also have these pages. Click them and see more detail. You can also go over here and do full width, which is really nice. That's what that looks like. Content planner, just a plain little calendar thing. And then journals, which I obviously can't show you, but I have some emo thoughts in there. And that's pretty much what I use Notion for the most. Ryan also uses Notion, but he uses it with his two team members and they put video ideas, they put thumbnails, they put logistics in there and they can all work at the same time on the same page. It's very collaborative, very easy, keeps things productive, saves time, customizable. It's just amazing. And I think everyone needs to use it. And it becomes so fun because I used to be like a little journal nerd and this is like that, but online and you can customize it and like watch all these videos and learn more. So I have a personal link that you can sign up with if you want to. And of course you could just sign up, but if you specifically click my link, then Notion is like, oh, they sign up because of Haley's video. So it just puts in a good word for me. You know what I mean? Cause I love Notion. So I'm fangirling about the sponsor. I'm sure you guys have really cute notions. So if you want to tag me on Instagram, a screenshot of what your dashboard looks like, that would be so cute. Cause I'm obsessed at looking at other people's templates and everything. So I hope that was interesting to you, but now I need to go finish another book for my main channel video. So cheers to more reading. Also, I'm waiting for a package from free people today. I placed a really large order because I seriously feel like I don't have any clothes for summer and I'm about to go to LA next week. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to spoil myself and get some new clothes for summer. And I'm very excited. I got like these new sandals and I got this anklet to wear. So I'm going to unbox that and show my first impressions of that. The free people package arrived at like 8 PM last night and I started rummaging through it because I was so excited, but I waited for some of the stuff. So I'm going to show you. Also, I just woke up. So if I look crusty, okay, first off, I got a pair of shoes. I thought these were going to be like my everyday platform sandal because they're so cute, but they are so platformy that they feel like wearing high heels. Lizzie McGuire. These give me so much height and they feel way fancier. Okay. Then I got these shorts. I tried them on last night. They're supposed to be like a low rise baggy fit and they fit perfect. Well, actually I'm going to need to wear a belt with them, but they are exactly what I was hoping for, which I had tried on like 15 pairs of shorts at Aritzia. Didn't find a single one. So I'm so happy about that. And then I got this shirt that I am obsessed with. Also tried this on last night and it fits perfectly. And I love the color. It's so flattering. I honestly kind of wanted to buy it in more colors. It was really cute. I want to try on the sweatshirt so bad. This is a size medium. It says Palm Springs. These days I just shop by color. I like how loose the sleeves are. Not too long, not too small. I got this green button down. I love this color. This is a size small. I really want to make my Instagram like cute outfits and books. So maybe I'll start working on that one while I'm in LA. Go follow it and see if I've gone through with my word. Okay, here's this. I love how long this is. Perfect and good. Another pair of shorts. Whoa, these are very thin. Here are the shorts. I'm going to try these on. These seem very interesting. Okay, these are cute. I could have gone down a size because they're a little loose, but honestly, my dryer will probably shrink them. These are so cute. They're so loose and nice for summer. And I got this shirt. I love this color. Let me try it on. Cute shirt. I like this shirt. I just need more like simple shirts because I'm starting to realize I have shorts and nothing to wear on top. Now that I'm wearing somewhat of an outfit, look at these sandals. Do they look crazy? Like, do I look like I'm wearing high heels with a casual outfit? I got a pair of boxers. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to wear these out in public, but I was thinking maybe I could wear this out in public. These are not as long as I thought they would be. I was thinking like with a big t-shirt, just wear like flowy shorts, but these look pretty boxery. Let me try them on. The waist span on these are really tight. Comment down below if you would wear these out. They kind of look like regular shorts. They're really cozy though. Ooh, I kind of want to buy more of these, but they're really tight. 
on the waistband. What do we think? Are these real shorts to wear outside? That is it for my diet. Day in the lie. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you did, subscribe. I'll just put it out there. I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet, like at my Instagram or my TikTok. <laughs>